Hi everyone, I am Richa Sarah, founder and editor in chief of Responsible Hospitals, and today I would like to welcome all of you on our Insta Live channel. As you all know that I always come up with a different subject and a title, and today's title is spine surgeries. As you all know, the spine is something which is a really common issue with everybody these days. But there is no cure to it as soon as, I mean, we talk about a lot. But we really need to know what are the solutions for it. What is spine surgery and what is endoscopic spine surgery? We'll be talking deep insights about the same subject with Dr. Shashav Shah, who has done his fellowship with South Korea. And he has a lot of I mean, experience in spine surgeries. So that's a new era of uh, endoscopic spine surgery which we'll be discussing about with him. So I'll just try to add him here and we'll start the session soon. Uh, Dr. Sheshav Shah, can you see me online? If yes, then type yes. Fair enough. I'll just type your name and we'll start the session soon. In case any of you have any specific question related spine, you can just put uh, your views across. Uh, hi, Dr. Shasha, how are you doing? Hello, yes, I'm uh, fine, how are you? We are, we are able to do this session. I was planning to uh, postpone it because <laughs> of the technical errors. And I know it's Sorry, I'm not technologically... Get the time out. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I'm not actually technologically so sound with movement. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's okay because instagram is something which is which a lot of people demanded from us that saying that we are on instagram and we thought to do this on insta lives i think that can help uh, a lot of people so we'll just yes, not yes. waste more time and we'll start this yes 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 loud and clear sure so dr shreshav uh, as we all know that uh, there are a lot of uh, common issues related to spine and uh, a lot of people think and they're, they're, there's a myth saying that, you know, it's a common issue which is happening these days with everyone. Shoulder may pain to chalta hai, neck may pain, it's okay. And every doctor is saying the only uh, solution to, his, to this is that exercise, changing the lifestyle. But I don't know, a lot of people are not even aware that what is endoscopic spine surgery related to and nobody would, would know that, you know, who actually needs it. So I'll be discussing on that. So my first question is, what is endoscopic spine surgery? Yeah, so uh, if, I, if I can uh, brief it out and uh, make it uh, simple. Uh, endoscopic spine surgery actually it is an evolution from open spine surgery. Actually, uh, previously we used to do open spine surgery, then came microscopes. With the advancement of cameras, HD cameras, now also 3D cameras over there. So we can do endoscopic spine surgery. So basically we go, we go inside the spine and uh, from, from a keyhole with the use of an endoscope, which is, I mean, uh, it is a, we, we insert our eyes inside the spine. So we can uh, do a lot of job with just one stitch, with, with just the keyhole. So less collateral damage. I mean, collateral damage is what we call uh, the normal structures which we have to sacrifice uh, in order to treat the pathology, the problem. So endoscopic spine surgery brings in a lot of uh, advantages, uh, in throwing away the risks or the problems of uh, surgery. Okay. So, uh, doctor, since you just mentioned how how this process take place, I mean, how long is this? surgery takes place. Yeah. What is the yeah, I mean, endoscopic, yeah. And so endoscopic spine surgery, basically, basically there are uh, three, two to three techniques of uh, endoscopic spine surgery. Uh, even one in, in, in one endoscopic spine surgery, we do it under local anesthesia. So local anesthesia is, is, is a very risk-free procedure. It's a daycare procedure. So in that, uh, a discectomy or I mean, uh, the problem, the pathology is removed under local anesthesia. So, so the problems of general anesthesia risks of general anesthesia are taken away and just the advantages of the surgery are, are uh, considered. So if, if you have heard uh, laparoscopic surgery of intestine, gallbladders, yes. but previously, uh, before a couple of decades, everything was open because we didn't have such camera systems, uh, good quality cameras. Yes, so the differentiation of the, the tissue which has to be removed was not that clear. Now with good camera systems coming in, 
uh, we can work it very easily uh, that risk free and uh, uh, as, as i was uh, giving an example now all everything is laparoscopic laparoscopic have you you must be hearing laparoscopic laparoscopic yeah. uh, fine surgery endoscopy is not that much uh, it was not that much into before one decade in, in the previous okay. decade it's it's now coming up because now the concepts of the doctors as, as and as i said the camera systems coming in uh, it, it, they are they are, it, they are very precise and very very much accurate so we can uh, work in very uh, Uh, swiftly over there. Okay, okay. So, uh, how scoliosis is related? To it? Do you think scoliosis? Uh, usually, doctors recommend you know uh, the surgery is the only solution. So, do you think there are successful uh, people who have got scoliosis? Yeah, uh, scoliosis. I think uh, yes. I mean, uh, surgically, definitely, a uh, few patients land up to the surgery. And uh, there are few techniques. I mean, just like endoscopic spine surgery, uh, there is uh, neuro monitoring. So neuro monitoring, intraoperative neuro monitoring, as we say. So in that, what happens? The main problem with scoliosis surgery, uh, I think most of them, most of most of the people must be knowing uh, the uh, damage to the nerve tissues, nerves, which which causes uh, uh, decrease of the movement, leg movements, which in general term we say paralysis. with scoliosis definitely there are few risks of that but with you know neuro monitoring coming in i think uh, uh, neuro monitoring is a wonderful uh, instrument in uh, the technique wherein we can uh, check the nerves intraoperatively i mean at, at every step we know okay the nerve is uh, we are near the nerve stay away from the nerve okay? just like that i mean just like i think navigation uh, the navigator has to the to the surgery mm -hmm. uh, yeah I mean, scoliosis is a big, big, big uh, this thing, uh, and, 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 and that cannot be done endoscopically. Absolutely, there is oh. uh, ways of uh, minimally invasive surgeries for scoliosis as well, deformity, uh, spine surgery. But uh, yes, uh, scoliosis can be done surgically, conservatively. I mean, uh, with brace, uh, we can treat scoliosis as well. Many of the patients do well with brace; uh, they do absolutely fine. Ultimately, if 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 all the methods, all the means uh, fail, we go for surgery. Yes. So, how are these uh, endoscopic spine surgeries different from the other spine surgeries? Yeah, if uh, if I can simplify you, uh, uh, as I said, there are three different stages of surgery. First, we did open with the naked eye. Then, uh, we, we are just just giving an example. If you want uh, to work inside a room. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, open surgery was uh, removing the whole wall to see inside the room. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, microscopic spine surgery. Microscopic surgery is what? Open the door, use the binoculars, and do the surgery. Okay, sure. endoscopic spine surgery is I inside my uh, I insert my eye inside the door. I go inside the room. I can check check all the corners of the room. I can do precise work with. Just opening the door. I don't need to remove the wall. See? I mean, just a keyhole. That's what. Simple, simple okay. example. Just to simplify. Okay. Also, doctor, I'm gonna pick up some questions uh, because I keep getting some questions online as well. Uh, why spine loss uh, loses its normal curve after some age? Yes. So that is a good question. Actually, uh, what happens is. with aging the spine is made up of multiple structures muscles bones uh, and uh, most of the, um, i mean uh, everybody will, must be knowing this this problems this this so what happens with aging that uh, this these discs lose their uh, the disc is a jelly like material they uh, the, these discs lose their jelly it's 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 uh, made up of more of water okay. so it loses its water and the disc if it is of this height in adolescence or in adult male it loses its height so as the discs lose their height the spine uh, crooks down i mean uh, there are 33 discs so uh, if if five discs and uh, lower back is there, that is the main important structure and those discs are very uh, important for our mobility mobility so when these discs uh, lose their height the patient crooks as well as with aging there is osteoporosis that sets in especially in women uh, who have menopause early so osteoporosis is a big issue uh, that uh, 
comes into play, which causes fractures without any trauma or fall. Okay. So yeah, so the fracture in vertebral fracture, what happens is the vertebra is this height. If I can show, if the vertebra is of this height, this, these are the vertebra and uh, these are the discs. If you can see, the vertebra loses its height along with the disc. So so as fine as this, it happens this. Way. Yeah. So what is the way out? I mean, as you know, that uh, you know, as we grow up and the pain starts increasing, and daily exercise is what one thing which everybody knows. The posture is second thing. But I'm sure a lot of people Absolutely. do not even know that what are the right postures to sit. Uh, these are very common Absolutely. things, and uh, that should help, uh, doctor. If you can just tell about little bit about postures, and that would be great yeah. for the yeah. audience. Yeah. I think uh, this is what uh, your session is important for. I think this awareness of uh, posture and uh, I think uh, everyone should have an exercise routine regime uh, daily. Just like we do a toothbrush, we do a bath. I mean, exercise sh should be that way. I think. 10 minutes, 15 minutes at, uh, in the morning is good enough. And uh, yes, and uh, if, you're if, you're, if we talk about the posture, yeah, posture comes into play in everything. With mobiles coming in, uh, they they are very very damaging to our spine. I mean, mobiles uh, looking downwards the day long uh, puts pressure over your neck. And uh, just to simplify, if uh, we have a stick and put a weight over there and bend the stick, the stick breaks uh, faster, lower down. So okay. when we bend down. People tend to forget that it definitely causes your neck pain, but it, it, it will also cause you the lower back pain. Just bending your neck, you must be thinking it will cause just my neck pain. No, it can also cause your neck pain. Uh, yeah. And post, yeah, and posture for IT sector people. I mean, I get so many people uh, yeah. from the IT sector having their jobs eight hours, fourteen hours, constant sitting on their laptops. I think it's 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 uh, very damaging to the spine. Any any position. More than thirty to forty minutes will cause you pain. Ask okay. yes, ask ask military people to stand in military posture for more than thirty minutes. They'll curse you. Mm -hmm. uh, so any any posture, uh, any posture for for more than thirty minutes, it's it's damaging to your spine. Sure, got it. Just keep changing okay. your posture. Oh, of course. So uh, I've got another question. Frozen shoulder is this related with spine issue? Frozen shoulder? No, no. Frozen shoulder, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah no. Then somebody is asking. My cousin has scoliosis. She has been told about spine surgery. Is it the only solution? I mean, depends on the patient. Eh? Depends on patient to patient. Actually, uh, if if all the means have been tried, few yes, few causes of uh, scoliosis. Are uh, if, uh, cannot be treated with braces actually, then yes, a spine surgery is needed. Fuse, fuse scoliosis, yes, I think uh, we need to see the images and of the patient. Sure, so I think you can actually consult with the doctor to exactly see the Absolutely. scenario and all. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. another question I have I have pain in my shoulder and neck since long and got MRI done as well. They said it's a nerve compression, is it related to spine issue? Yeah, it can, it can. I think uh, the previous question, just the frozen shoulder. Uh, yeah. Frozen shoulder. If it is diagnosed with frozen shoulder, then yes, not. Uh, it's it, it cannot. Be, it's not related to with your spine. But yes, a shoulder pain with neck pain. Yes, that that can be with uh, this thing, no compression. Yes. But I think uh, most of yeah, most, most of these most questions. of these patients do well with exercises. Uh, related to the same only, he's asking that he got his uh, treatment done from. QI spine clinic with a uh, lot of sittings, but somehow there is no solution to it. So what is the exact problem? He's not able to get it. What this is what I could understand. I think I think you should. I mean, I think uh, with PK, nothing can be uh, spine spine. Nothing can be generalized. I think firstly, I mean, uh, I've got patients with very bad MRIs. Patients doing absolutely fine, and patients patients with a uh, little problem, just a little problem. We, uh, that, that in, in, in severe pain. So I think it, nothing can be generalized per se, but uh, need to see the patient. Nothing sure. can be generalized per se. So what are the symptoms basically? I mean, how do we identify, doctor, that 
this symptom is related to spine issues and you they need to see yeah. the doctor of spine now yeah so i mean uh, most most common is the disc problems see okay uh, if i if i if i uh, talk about the disc problems if uh, lower back disc is more more common than neck disc okay so in a lower back disc problem what will have what what will the patient have the patient will have a sciatica if we, uh, if we can say sciatica like pain it's it's it, it radiates down the leg just like a current i mean uh, it it radiates down the leg and uh, depending on the which disc problem is uh, the patient has a uh, patient will have a different type of radiating pain radiating from either in the anterior thigh or the lateral thigh or the posterior thigh in the calf in the heel in the sole depending on the disc which the patient has generally these patients uh, the disc problems in uh, adult young adults is due to a weight lifting not no pro proper posture lack of proper posture lack of exercises uh, lack of nutrition as well all this come uh, come into play and the patient have these problems sure and doctor since you mentioned that there some solutions are there with endoscopic spine surgeries are there any side effects later on and see uh, generally what the patients ask me is uh, in in this herniation in endoscopic disc uh, proper surgery we remove the part of the disc which is problem uh, uh, damaging the nerve we just remove the uh, part of the disc that is damaging the nerve if you can see here yeah yeah so and that is uh, it's not shown over here generally they show it a disc that we just shave it off the problematic disc the rest of the disc is there see we don't remove the rest of the disc so uh, the patients you generally ask me if you remove the disc what happens to the disc i uh, will i be lost of one disc i mean uh, I, i i don't have the uh, third, third, all all the disc 30 disc no i mean uh, we just remove the part of part that is already not doing its function and already which is pathological we keep the rest of the disc over there and with already uh, damaged disc you can say that the functioning of the disc will not be normal as 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 the other discs are functioning but yes that will be uh, that will be there even if the surgery is not there you getting me are you getting me that will the problem will be there even if the surgery is not there the disc okay. is not doing that its function already okay it's out of the place already got the point yeah, yeah. so when the surgery happens to be how long does it take to get them back to a better position or a normal position do they require yeah. a lot of training? yeah i think no i think the rest rest even if i don't do a surgery i don't uh, recommend rest these days that this is the new i think the, that that's what i'm saying uh, the the new concepts the new uh, these things uh, understandings uh, that previously we patients were kept on bed for 3 weeks 4 weeks then you get you get better But even if i don't do surgery i i give exercises to my patients Okay. And in, and if I do a surgery, endoscopic surgery, I mean, uh, we we do a surgery, minimally sur minimal invasive surgery. I uh, my patients walk the same day. They can uh, it's a day care procedure generally. Uh, patient come down in the morning, uh, get discharged in the evening, and patient can do their daily regime in the evening. It's okay. it's not at all a problem. No, no. That's that's awesome. And does it also happens because a lot of people are very skeptical about surgeries. They find that surgery is the last Absolutely. solution. after you know tried and tested all the med medications Absolutely. so does it happens usually that you know the person got the surgery done and now again mm -hmm. he may fall down or you know he gets some injury on the back so again he has to go through the same surgery procedure yeah i think i think yes that this is a very 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 good question i mean uh, we are treating the outcome of a problem which the patient is already having see i mean uh, the patient is not all uh, we take a 45 year old male having this problem see? okay mm -hmm. does all 45 year old males have the problem no okay okay It, that patient is having so his back is already weak all all the posture is not good something somewhere somewhere uh, the patient is doing wrong okay so the basic problem is there we have not treated the prop basic problem we have treated the outcome of that problem okay Got so it. unless and until he will have a good regime good posture good exercises this problem will we, we can occur again yeah 
it's it's, it's 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 as simple as uh, uh, once the tire of a car is punctured, it's there. It's, it, you can definitely get punctured <laughs> again if you go you will go the wrong way. Absolutely, <laughs> I I got your point exactly. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the audience is asking my daughter, age of fifteen years, has scoliosis mm -hmm. and has comb and in angle of eighty degree. Is surgery required? Okay. Yes. Then what is the right age of the surgery? Okay. I think 80 degree. Generally, we have a norm of uh, 60 degrees. I think uh, 80 degrees is an indication. And if, at the age of 15, yes, I mean 80 degrees is a big curve. She, she, yes, I think if she's so having. So she's problem, asking, so what is the right age of getting the surgery done? Yeah, I think uh, at the age of 15, she can go. Undergo a surgery, not a problem. Sorry, what did you say? At the age of 15, yes, I think uh, she can undergo a surgery. I think she can. is a good age to go undergo surgery. Yes. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. So uh, my around 12, around uh, after 12, around after 12 to 15 is a good age. I think 15 is a good. Age. Oh. Sure, sure, doctor. So my last question to you is that uh, any tips for all the audience that. Uh, how do they take care of themselves in terms of spine? Because spine issues are very common. So how do they take care yes. of themselves? Any tips on this you would want to give? Yeah, I think uh, first thing first, I think it's, it's, it's a package. It's, it's a holistic approach. It's a package of everything. Uh, a good exercise regime. First things first. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Uh, exercise is a must. Good posture, absolutely, yes. Uh, good sleep, good nutrition. It's, it's a package of everything. See. Uh, if, uh, if you're lacking of vitamin D, your sunlight exposure, if you're lacking of calcium, uh, you'll, you'll have weak bones. If you have lacking vitamins, minerals, I mean, you, you'll, you'll not have good muscle strength. Uh, for, for a good muscle strength, it's, it's, it's basically uh, building a, a pillar. Building a pillar. You should have a cement, good cement, good uh, brick, everything. So I, I, I consider bricks as bones and cement as muscles. So building good muscles can help save your disc regenerate slower. It, it, it's it's going to regenerate. That is what God has made us do. But uh, the regeneration process uh, goes slow when your muscles are strong. So exercise, good regime, stay healthy, good hydration, good sleep. Sleep uh, 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 sleeping adequately at night increases disc height. Uh, we have a paper that says yes. We have a paper that says uh, in the evening uh, a man's height is lesser than in the morning. Okay. So the disc uh, Dr. because Mark, the disc yeah tend to yeah. One one very common question which people ask us or I, I get to know from people that you know when they sleep they sleep on different kind of pillows to rest themselves. Some people say without pillows we should sleep. Some people put towels. Some people take, hmm. uh, you know, different kind of shape pillows. So, what is yeah, that? Cervical like pillows. They people who have spine problems. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, I think uh, I, I go go this way. I mean, uh, the pillows and the uh, mattresses. Humans have made these things. I think uh, God did not uh, give us this thing. So, our body is uh, well enough without anything. Okay. I think it's better off without anything. But uh, this is all these things are for our comfort. See. So, so with with uh, so uh, mattresses and pillows are very 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 common questions have been asked in my opinion. So uh, yeah, pillow uh, a, a small pillow for your comfort for your uh, headrest, okay. Big pillows, no. and uh, using it. What 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 is the, in the you have your cervical spine is in a C shape here. Your C C shape. So a, a towel here. Will help you rest, and it is good for your cervical spine because the whole day you have been. So your cervical spine is this. Your you your whole day you have been this. Mm -hmm. So with, with with a towel, yeah, a bit of good disc height will be better uh, in, in uh, when when you are sleeping. And um, mattress is a common question which is uh, asked uh, whether it's uh, it's it, it, it to be used soft or hard or what. I think uh, mattress companies also uh, are knowing now. They're not making it too soft now. They're, they're, they're making it hard enough now. Uh, just soft enough to have good sleep. Sure. Not sure. Too soft. Not the point. 
So it was uh, really great interacting with you. I think it was quite insightful. A lot of people were asking a lot of questions, and I was so uh, happy about it. So thank you so much, uh, just for being with us, and it was great session. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank I think I think you you asked very good questions. <laughs> your your leading questions were very nice. I think uh, that I that that uh, provoked me to have. Uh, uh, these, really? uh, these, these answers. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. I think we we're gonna have more uh, interesting session, maybe related to the same kind of category later on. Absolutely. I think I think uh, spine uh, endoscopic spine and spine problems per se. I can go on for posture uh, for thirty minutes. Sure, we can talk about the postures and all. Yeah. Yeah. No we problem. Can. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much, doctor. Okay. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be back.